Hello, I'm João Paulo Casarotti, and today I'll be talking to you a little bit about the piece A Moda da Carranquinha by the Brazilian composer Hector Villalobos. I will be playing this piece through, and then I'm going to discuss each one of the sections uh, to better inform you how to properly practice and prepare this piece. Well, this is a piece uh, in Walt's um, movement. He actually writes in here, Movimento de Valsa de Choro. It's a choro, um, uh, it's a in, in movement of Waltz of choro. Uh, choro is a popular uh, Brazilian genre, um, uh, really uh, famous in Brazil, particularly in this region in Rio de Janeiro, where Vila Lobos is from. Uh, he had a lot of influence on the choro uh, since his father was a popular musician and there's a lot of freedom on this music and you can take advantage of that every time you have the repeats. Anyway, I'm going to talk a little bit about each section. I recommend you initially to um, to practice the hands, uh, the left hand first in section A and I think that would be important if you actually block these intervals. Uh, and learn first just blocking uh, them uh, to properly learn the distance. So I would be, if I were you, I would just stay in there. If it's the same, just keep it. And then A and G. Right. That's good to learn your alignment your hand position, and make it really easy for you. Five and one, four and one, five and one, and then you can do the whole chord. You can break it down like that. So I would be blocking this. You could do three and then the next one. That would be a good way of practicing, always blocking. Uh, then you can actually play the way it's written. And what you're gonna do here, you're gonna play the bass a little louder and you're gonna rotate. So I do the rotation and then I bounce, bounce. So fast, slow, slow, fast, slow, slow, fast, slow, slow, fast. I rotate and I bounce. Loud, soft, soft, fast, slow, slow. That way you show your bass line. Totally do this non legato. 
And here you can do this legato here. Uh, you can think also as a portato here if you want. Um, this is your left hand on section A. Now the section, uh, the right hand, you're going to be rotating and you're changing the speed. So fast, slow, you can do this little crescendo. Under, shape and over, and a little more on C sharp. And then the second time can be a little louder. And even louder here, under shape, over shape. And then same thing, rotation. Under, over, under, and then over de novo again. Under, over, and under de novo. Under, over, under again. Under, over. And now, non legato. So one more time, rotation, shape, and there over, and now over again, it can be different this one. Now it's a little tricky to put together because you have um, different uh, rhythms and different articulation uh, going on here. But when you put together, make sure you're doing those same movements 